total freaking bananas. This is just. Decision rolls. I say that's a. Hold on. This is just so fucked up. Ask similar to the Hong Kong protesters and said, liberate Hong Kong, revolution of our age. As a result of that, Activision Blizzard has removed Blitzchung from the Grandmasters, is withholding prize money he's otherwise owed, and will not be welcomed back in Hearthstone Esports until October 5th, 2020. The two casters who were broadcasting with him at the time physically ducked during the comments and quickly cut to commercial, clearly aware of repercussions, and despite this, Blizzard said that they will immediately cease working with them. Blizzard said, somewhat erroneously, while we stand by one's right to express individual thoughts and opinions, players and other participants that elect to participate in our esports competitions must abide by the official competition rule. The official competition rules have violated the unalienable right, the freedoms, to live one's own life, to exercise one's own liberties. And these unalienable rights, they're not endemic to America. Blizzard has violated the unalienable rights of this man in China. Just like the United States government has violated my unalienable rights. And the thing about our unalienable rights is we get to define them. So long as they do not interfere with or directly obstruct the unalienable rights of our fellow living beings. I know you want to sit in the lap, Balto. You're just going to have to wait. This man's right to the pursuit of happiness, to play that game has been violated because he's Chinese makes no fucking difference to me the United States government is corrupt and now we're seeing from Jim Sterling how another government is corrupt It is time for a massive global revolution. It is time for the governments of the world to go the fuck away. <clears throat> it's time for the people to stand up for themselves and fight these tyrannical oppressors. I've explained in a previous video how there's a few laws that exist in the United States that are directly and blatantly violating everyone's unalienable rights. <clears throat> now let me take it a step further. Not just this dude in China, but a bit more of my own story. I was arrested for defending my own unalienable right to be alive from when my stepdad attacked me and I defended myself. The district attorney in this state of Alabama's court system disregarded that we, my entire family and I, were under extreme stress and duress from the rape and death of my sister. They did not listen to me when I told them I had sustained injuries defending my own life even though their investigators took pictures. It was, it's a total clusterfuck, isn't it? They completely disregarded everything that I said. And when I was walking into one of the courtrooms for uh, one of the judges that uh, was in the three judges that I was going through, that the, the case was turned over to. I forgot the judge's name. She was elected into the office for a certain role 
And I heard the district attorney tell her verbatim, if you don't play the game the way we tell you, we'll just take you out of the game. Shortly after that, guess what happens? Because she doesn't want to play ball with the DA and violate everyone's constitutional, civil, and unalienable rights and profiteer, racketeer, in, well, gangland style, off of everyone's misery and suffering by simply throwing them away and into... Fuck off, train. Into a prison and disregarding that they exist, disregarding their rights as individuals, the DA goes around behind her back and has her removed from that place of elected position and forcibly put into another position. They trade everyone's lives in a non-public stock market. They don't give a fuck about anybody but themselves. And now you're seeing in the olive null variation of society, in the olive null, the compressed version of society in the gaming industry, how the unalienable right or rights of a man in another country are being blatantly violated. Just because a company wants to maintain its bureaucracy, just because they want to control this man as if he were a slave, this is objectification of a living person. They're treating this man like shit. They're treating everyone like shit. And there's more of you individuals who are being treated like shit than there are of them in control. It is time for a massive fucking World War III. It's time for the governments of the world to stop violating everyone's rights. And at this present time, they are attempting to drag me back into that prison. I don't have enough money to pay them this probation fee. It's utter bullshit. I was selectively prosecuted by a corrupt system, by people who are corrupt and need to be removed from their place of authority and power. And this person in China is being selectively prosecuted by that same system. These people think that they can continue to be corrupt scum and get away with it. That they can racketeer and profiteer illegally off of the suffering of their populace that they are sworn to protect. They're violating their oath to protect and serve the public trust in them. I don't trust any single last one of these crummy scumbags at all. I'm tired of seeing examples of the corruption go. I'm tired of being a victim of the corruption and the tyranny and the criminal behavior of the governments that are supposed to protect our rights. It's time to overthrow the governments that are corrupt tyrannies. Additionally, my Dead Space playlists are scheduled. If I disappear, or it's shown on the news that I've died, or they put me back in prison. It's because they don't want this truth to go out. I'm tired of this nonsense. It's time for the independent individuals 
to rise up and fight for their rights.